Greetings from Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. My name is Jim Glesney, and I have the privilege of sharing a few thoughts from God's Word this day. Now, growing up, we had several dogs, but my wife's family did not. So in our married life together, we did not have the opportunity to have a dog for a pet. Well, we have four children who are all married, and they all have dogs. In fact, I believe the count is eight dogs. Well, our oldest son is a pastor in Illinois, and he writes in a blog that I'd like to share some thoughts with you that he has written down. He writes, Freya, which is their dog's name, can be a little pill, but she's always so happy to see me when I come home. Good day, bad day, hot or cold, whatever. When I walk in the door, happy is her default setting. I like to think that it is because in her little doggy brain, she knows she is loved. It's not that she's a perfect dog. She's not. It's not because everything is perfect. It's not. In Dr. Matt's words, which is their vet, she has a seriously jacked up leg, but that doesn't change her disposition one bit. She charges into everything with gusto and boundless energy. Now, many of the Psalms in the New Revised Standard Version start with the word happy. Now, being happy is a loaded topic. Happiness can be fickle, a fickle thing, and, for the sum, a seemingly unattainable goal. When one reads these passages, ponder happiness, my son came up with this thought, a line from a rock group, The Who, and their song, Behind Blue Eyes, which came to his mind. It goes like this, when I smile, tell me some bad news before I laugh and act like a fool. He said, I love this song and its raw energy, but I've never gotten that line. I don't get it when people don't smile for pictures or let themselves be happy. They almost seem to be afraid of happiness. Maybe it's because it is so fleeting, delicate, and fragile. Rather than risk losing it, they'd rather not have it at all. But here's the deal in the Psalms, especially, I believe, in Psalm 3, 32. Happiness doesn't rely on my mood. It is based on my relationship with God. The witness of Scripture is that my transgression is forgiven. My sin is covered, and I do not stand accused. My son goes on to say, In the waters of baptism, grace upon grace flows to me and through me. Daily I am greeted by the good news that in Jesus I am a new creation. I can be happy, and it's good, as daily I seek to become what I already am in Christ Jesus and the person my dog thinks I am. Will you join me in prayer? Almighty God, we thank you that you have come to us in your Son, Jesus, and have offered to us the greatest gift of all, your love. You invite us into a relationship with you that daily we can reaffirm and thank and praise you about. Lord God, be with us as we walk daily in our lives. Bless us, we pray, in all the things that we do, that we may reflect your goodness in what we say and do. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us here for Daily Hope, and we hope that you will click like and subscribe. And again, we always invite you to come to the Victory Lutheran's website for more information. God bless your day.